Good morning, viewers all over the world. Good evening and good afternoon to everyone that's watching me. This is Denzamas, and you're welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel for breaking empaths free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality. I talk about personal and self-development. And if that's what resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with me, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. In this particular video, I'm going to enlighten you guys on the Jezebel spirit. Okay? The Jezebel spirit usually operates behind the female narcissists. The male narcissist normally is le the legathan. Okay? So it's for the video for the men out there. You need to know how to identify that you are dealing with one or you have been dealing with one of them. And if that resonates, of course, you guys, you can always let us, let us know in the comment section below if you have encountered these kind of experiences that I'm talking about. How do you identify that you've been dealing with a Jezebel spirit? Now, first of all, The female narcissist that I dealt with post-discard, the spiritual and greater narcissist, that female, that female narcissist actually was a Jezebel, okay? I would later on confirm a couple of weeks later that I was dealing with a Jezebel. This is a very cunning, very seductive person, okay? They have mastered the art of seduction, very cunning, very manipulative, and at the same time, very, very destructive. If you're unaware, and you're not conscious, and you run into a Jezebel spirit, that Jezebel spirit, it does not matter who you are dealing with, what kind of man you are, it does not matter how much power you have, it does not matter what, what is your social status, celebrity status, doesn't matter. They are going to break you down to an extent where nobody will, able, will be able to recognize you. Now, first of all, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that um, these kind of uh, Jezebels, they do not have any business with rejection. So when they identify a target, they are, are going to come into full swing, okay? They identify a subject or a target, they are going to run into action. Depending on your level of awareness, will also um, determine the action that they will usually take against you. So if your person is a little bit of more aware of things, they may slow down a little bit. But if they find you unaware, they will go into action. They will jump into action, if I could say. And those individuals, they want results immediately. Okay, the moment they know that they have captured you or they have gotten into your life, they want to see results straight away. Okay, should it go the other way and something happens and you happen to probably discard yourself out of that relationship because there's a very big chance you may figure this individual out and you may discard yourself out of that entanglement. The Jezebel spirit is going to go into rampage. When I'm talking about rampage, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about real rampage. So let's say, for example, they may run into your house, or they may run to your house, or into your house, or around your house. They're going to throw stones at your windows. They're going to break down your windows. They will break down the doors. They will break down your equipment. That is if you allow them to. Maybe sometime you're not in that vicinity. Or sometimes they may find your car, for example, they know where you work and they know where you park your car normally, usually. It's why sometimes I've told you guys, sometimes it's even necessary to switch up the cars, okay? So you change to different cars that they cannot recognize. They may come around and smash the windows of your car, smash the headlights, they may puncture the wheels, they may even sometimes, in some case scenarios, burn that car down, put it on fire. That is how destructive a Jezebel spirit. Because why are they usually doing this? Is you have strictly 
broken them down, you have actually injured them to a very high degree. And they don't know what to do with themselves. Because as seductive as they are, they also believe that everybody is supposed to fall for their games or to fall for their traps. Okay, so like I've said, when they come in, they will jump into swift actions because they already believe that they have seduced you well enough for you to fall for the BS. But should you happen that you have caught up on those individuals, they are going to go into destructive mode. Yes, they are going to break down your cars. If you want to know, you may sometimes come into the home and they have broken down the entire home. Okay, mm -hmm. all the equipment is on the floor. All the sofas are in pieces. Everything is in pieces. That is how you know that you have probably been dealing with the Jezebel. Okay? Those are the people who carry that spirit, who embody that spirit of the Jezebel. Okay? But sometimes it happens also that um, you could have been probably some form of an influencer. Maybe you have got a community following you or sometimes you could have some people who are always hanging around you they also want to go and influence those people. So what they will usually do, those kind of Jezebel spirits, they will now go and poison those people's minds. Okay? They want everybody to believe that you're not who you say, you are not who you say that you are. So they want to influence all these people's minds and poison their minds and intoxicate their minds to all turn against you. They want everybody who is around you to turn against you at the same time. So normally this happens when like you have gone through this discard phase, maybe you have sometimes figured them out and you've jumped out of that situation. That is when you cause them an injury and they also want to make sure that nobody is going to believe you. So in normal case scenarios with all almost all narcissists, there is something what they call the smear campaign. But the, Je the Jezebel is going to take this smear campaign to another degree, okay, whereby almost each and everyone around you is going to be poisoned and intoxicated. They want everybody to believe that you are a very horrible person, you're not worthy to be around, and they should not even listen to what you're saying. And sometimes they may even go ahead and uh, portray this image that they are the ones who actually gotten out of that situation. So they want everybody to believe that it is not you who has discarded them, it is them who have discarded themselves out of that situation because they have probably figured out that you're not worthy of them, you know, you're not like, uh, uh, what could I call it? They want everybody to believe that you're not worthy of that relationship. So for example, they were somewhere, somewhat ahead of you and you was below them. So that's the reason why they couldn't go ahead with you. So sometimes they may talk about things like, you was not a match, okay? You know, they, they, I figured out this individual was not a match and, you know, I was just wasting a lot of time hanging around them, you know, I was just doing them a favor. Sometimes you may hear things like that, that they were doing you a favor to get into a relationship with you. That is because you have injured them and they cannot take this injury. They don't take it lightly. They take it very, very seriously because you have extremely shattered their ego, okay? A Jezebel spirit has got a very huge inflated ego and the moment you crack down that ego, they do not know what to do with themselves. It is going to crack them down to the floor. So they need to find themselves uh, a way of crawling back up and making sense all over again to everybody around them. So that's why you see them doing a lot of destruction. Like I've said, the first sign will be destroying your properties and everything, smash your windows of your car and everything, destroy the entire house. They may even burn down the equipment. Another thing, they'll also go around and... Uh, Try to go ahead of you. So they will run ahead of you and tell everybody who knows the two of you that actually you're a very bad person. People should be very careful. You know, look out for that guy. He's a very terrible individual, this and this. So they will actually very, very intensively smear your name. Like I've told you guys, the smear campaign, you don't have nothing to do. Don't defend. Don't go around defending yourself. Let the people find out their, uh, uh, at their own time. Those people that they are talking to, they may not know everything at the beginning, but as the time progresses, they are going to figure out that that individual was the problem. So let this thing play out organically and naturally. Everybody will come to the realization of what exactly happened with time. Okay, Some of these things take time. And another thing, like I've said, they will always make everybody believe that they were doing you a favor. Okay, That person... I was with them for a couple of months. They are like shit. You know, they are not worthy of anything. They're not worth a penny. They will always try to bring down your name in the worst 
the worst way possible because they are trying to retaliate. You've cracked their ego. You've caused them a narcissistic injury. So it is a revengeful way of retaliating. Okay. So when I was dealing with a narcissistic, uh, this greater narcissist back in the days, uh, back in the years, those are the things I experienced as well. The destruction didn't happen because we was, we was not living together. So I actually got away and went back home and they didn't even actually uh, show up at my place. But the other things happened. That's what I can try, uh, I'm trying to say. The Jezebel spirit does not have anything called rejection in their vocabulary. Anything called rejection is a very big threat to their ego. This is a woman who is like very seductive. They will put the best makeup. They want to wear a lot of these, you know, the latest brands you can think about in town. So they do not expect that they are going to run into a man and a man is going to reject them because they have not been used to rejection over time. They know that every victim they found or subject they found or an object, because always people are objects, those people have always accepted them and taken them in so that they could destroy them. But if you're the person that is indestructible, then you become a threat to those kind of individuals. That is the reason as to why they go an extra length to tarnish your name and to destroy everything that you everything that you've got everything that you've got and everything that you own. If you're the guy that has dealt with the Jezebel spirit, let us know in the comment section below what has been your experience. There may be some other things that I could have missed out and I didn't see. Let us also know in the comments what has your experience. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's a more signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.